I'm going to continue adding to my Nearpod lesson and look at the other different options that Nearpod has available to make my lesson more interactive for my students. So once again, I have my menu of options on the side here. And let's say I'm going to come over here and take a look at some of the interactive options. And this first one over here, you can see if I click on it, this is a video interactive. So what this means is you can include a video such as a YouTube video or a video that you record yourself on your computer or even some of the videos that Nearpod has in its own library. And then you can embed questions directly into that as part of your overall Nearpod lesson. So I'm going to click on this one. And again, you get a little summary as to what you can do with this particular option and I'm going to click Add. So by doing so, this is going to bring me to a page by default that's going to allow me to select from Nearpod's library of videos. So if you're not familiar with any of their videos and you think that they might um, be appropriate for your students and for your lesson, you can check these out. Um, in my case, I'm going to select a YouTube video. So you could search for a YouTube video right within Nearpod, but what I've done is actually I have Nearpod, uh, sorry, YouTube open in another tab, and I have already found the video that I want to include. So I found the video that I want to include, so I'm going to copy the website address from the address bar, and then I'm going to jump back over to Nearpod, and I'm going to paste it into here. Now before I do a search, let me just quickly go over the two other options. When you're creating a video card in Nearpod, you can also select My Videos, which if you have done any Nearpod videos with questions in them, they will go into your library and will fall under this My Videos. So I do have a few that I have created in the past. Or if you're brave and you want to create your own video that you have used, created, um, and you want to upload, you can do that as well. I'm going to jump back over to YouTube and again paste the link to the video that I know I want to use. So it found it, so I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click Save. So now this is going to bring me to this screen where I can preview the video, I can hit play, and you can also You're fast forward through it and scrub through it to get to a point where you think you want to add a question. So let's say I want to add a question at this point in the video. So I've paused it, and now I'm going to click Add an Activity. You have two options. It can be an open-ended question or a multiple choice question. And then you have your typical multiple choice functionality here where you would type in what your question is. I've typed in my question, and then I'm going to have my students choose the correct version of their based on a little bit of the video they have watched. So I'm going to pre-select the correct choice, and this means when the students participate in this, it will be automatically graded as they move through this. And then I'm going to click Save. So now I have this question embedded right here. So if I did need to come back and edit it, I can come back over onto this little circle and I can click the edit button. Otherwise, I can continue to scrub through my video. If I want to include another question somewhere at some point, I can do that as well. But right now I'm going to hit save. So this is going to save the question that I just created and it's going to bring me back over. So now I have my video lesson. And again, if you need to make any changes to any of these slides that you have created in your lesson, you can just click on it and this will open it back up into the editing mode and you can make any changes that you need to. So if I wanted to add a, another question, I can now click anywhere on this little timeline here and I can add another activity. So that's how you would work with videos embedded into a Nearpod lesson.